Many student projects in geography and environmental science require you to measure air temperature amongst other meteorological variables. Now we can invest thousands of pounds uh, in uh, full weather stations which measure temperature, humidity, rainfall, radiation, etc. etc. Temperature is actually very quick and easy to measure without huge expense. Now we can buy custom made mounting so we can install temperature sensors such as this one in the field. It is actually very quick, easy and economical uh, to take a slightly homemade uh, approach to things which is what we're doing here with this sensor. We bought a very cheap tripod from a camera shop. This one cost only about £25. We then mounted a radiation shield to it. Again, very uh, free, easily available and very cheap to buy. In here we've got our temperature probe and the wire coming off that temperature probe we connect to a miniature data logger. Again, not an expensive piece of equipment to buy. And the great thing about the camera tripod, of course, is that we can extend the legs. Because what we want to do is locate our temperature sensor a reasonable distance away from the ground surface, whatever that surface may be. Now, this particular sensor is going on the surface of a glacier. And we want to make sure the sensor head, uh, the radiation shield, is approximately 1.25 metres above the ground surface, ice in this case. And with a tripod, we've got quick and easy ability to set that sensor head uh, at the correct height. So we're not getting interference in our temperature signal from microclimatic and meteorological variables at ground level. And that's very important. We must have the sensor correct distance above the ground surface to get a true measure of temperature. Okay, we're at three and a half thousand feet in the Swiss Alps here at the Alalin, where as you can see, it's beautiful weather and we're dressed for the occasion in shorts, t-shirts, etc. Um, what temperature does it feel like to you? Probably about 28. Yeah. 28? Mid-20s. Yeah, mid-20s. It feels absolutely boiling hot. Um, but in actual fact, the air temperature here is probably about 2 degrees C or thereabouts. The reason we feel so warm is twofold. Firstly, we're at very high altitude, three and a half thousand meters. So we're getting a lot of direct radiation on our skin from the sun. And that, of course, makes us feel warmer than it actually is. Uh, but also, because you look around, we're on snow. Beneath the snow is obviously ice. The snow is very reflective. And so we're getting huge amounts of shortwave radiation from the sun reflected off the ice uh, and back onto us. So it feels very much warmer than it actually is because of course we always measure air temperature in the shade and we're clearly not in the shade here and our skin is open to the elements. A radiation shield to cover the sensor is essential. Direct contact with solar radiation will warm up the metal probe and give rise to inaccurate readings. It's important that the sensor is vented to allow free-flowing air to pass through the sensor.